hello everyone and welcome to my channel i hope you all are doing well if you are new to my channel you're highly welcome and if you're returning thank you so so much i appreciate you all and uh, welcome to 2020 i wish us all good health of mind everything good we wish for ourselves let it be our portion in jesus name amen um so guys i'm going to make a sale today i'm super excited to make this uh isewo on my channel today so guys as you know making nkobe with isewo is our traditional delicacy in nigeria especially in Igbo land so please make sure you subscribe to my channel and tap on that notification bell in that way you get instant notification whenever i upload a new video so thank you so so much for watching until i see you guys in my next video stay blessed stay beautiful and i love you all bye So guys, as you can see, I have washed and cleaned the meat properly. I cleaned it thoroughly. And here I'll be adding the meat inside the pot. And uh, I will add the necessary ingredients. So here I'm adding meat seasoning. So here I'm just adding uh, meat seasoning as I said, I added about one and a half spoons. Um, here I'll be adding a pinch of almond. And I'll be adding parsley. So guys here I added the uh, cayenne pepper. And after that, I'll be adding chicken stock, just a little bit. So now I'm adding a pinch of um, salt. And after that, I'll be adding one Maggi cube. And then this is um, onion and red bell pepper, just one red bell pepper and a small onion. I blended it together so here I will be adding uh, another sliced onion to cook the meat so after that I rinsed the blender and uh, I added the water into it the blender I used to blend um, the onion and red bell pepper. So here is the the brain from the isil. So I'm going to wrap it inside this foil and cook it. So I'm going to use it to prepare the sauce when that time comes. So I didn't put it inside the this pot because this pot is pressure pot and if, you know when you're cooking with pressure pot you can't open it until it's done unless you want to be checking it out so i just remembered i'm using the pressure pot so i decided to use another pot to cook the bran because i just needed to cook it like say 20 to 25 minutes so yeah that's why so here I'm just trying to make sure that everything gets together properly and I'm going to cover the pot and allow it to cook so guys after 20 to 25 minutes I'm going to check it and see how it looks So 
so just bear in mind if you have pressure pots please make sure you leave it to cool down before you open it so I just transferred the meat inside another pan and then I I took out the little water so here I added palm oil inside the pan I'm going to use to mix the to make the sauce so here I'm just adding um, potash which is known as akaun and I'm, I just need only the water so as you can see I put the potash I added the potash I added water inside the potash and make sure I uh, I blended it very well and I leave it to cool down I'm just taking only the water to make the sauce so this is the the brain I cooked in a separate pot so I'm going to mash it as well and add it inside the sauce as this will help to thicken the, the sauce So guys, after that I'm going to stir, make sure everything goes inside very very well. So now I'm adding the stock from the meat, just a tiny bit and I'm stirring very very well. So after that I'm going to add the oporo, the grounded oporo grounded prawn and now I added the remaining one maggi cube so guys here I'm just adding onion um, the sliced onions and I'm going to add scotch bonnet and after that I'm going to add a pinch of salt so this is um, Calabash nutmeg called a huru in Ibo. So this is the grounded one. I'm just showing you to know the type of um, nutmeg I'm using. So after that, I'm going to add uh, one maggi cube and I'm going to stir properly. So guys, here I'm just testing the sauce. I really love this sauce. Um, yeah, and it tasted so so good and delicious, so yummy. So, here I added the leftover um, prawn and um, I'm adding the goat's head now. This sauce uh, smells so nice. So guys, as you can see, I'm a bit careful here not to add more water while I'm adding the meat and I'm giving it a wonderful stir. So guys, here I'm adding otazi and uh, what I do is that anytime I go to African shop, I try to buy like something like otazi, oziza and all that, but this is otazi. So when I buy it, I wash it and uh, cut it the way i want and i store in the freezer so whenever i want it you know um yeah it's very handy so here i'm just adding a little bit of um, scotch bonnet and i'm stirring it so guys um i'm just um transferring it into this mortar and um, as I'm doing this, I just realized that it's not as big as I thought. And uh, thank God I bought two, two goat heads. The day I bought um, this, I got two. So, and um, it just occurred to me to, you know, use this uh, opportunity to make the two. So it can be a bit rich, you know. So, yeah, and I did. And uh, this is uh, 31st of December 2019, just one hour to go into New Year. So yeah, why not? I did and I'm happy I did that. 
so as you can see in another pot i'm just you know uh added the another goat head like i cleaned it properly well with salt i just took my time and cleaned it you know well 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 like individually and as you can see i brought out the goat um brain as well the um yeah and uh just i just added everything i did on the same uh the first one all the necessary ingredients and at this time i just added a little bit of water like less water in this one than the other one um as you can see in another pot i'm making i'm just uh cooking the goat's uh brain there you can see it's, it's done after 20 minutes to 25 minutes as you can see there's no water and uh yeah guys it's just basically the same thing the same ingredients add salt and um um grounded prawn onion maggi you know just basically the same uh thing i did previously so yeah i'm happy i did this is a uh, ehuru uh known as um calabash nutmeg And this is the stock from the previous uh, uh, meat I cooked and I'm just mixing everything properly well guys it turned out really really delicious like fantastic and this is the um, goat brain so guys basically I'm just uh, repeating the process I used in the first one and here I just added uh, the brain and here I'm adding utazi, utazi leaves and here I added um, scotch bonnet which I sliced and I'm mixing everything properly. Um, so here I'm introducing the goat head so as you can see it's uh, very hot I don't need to um, heat up the pan again like I did in the first one so here i'm just going to add this one i did before the previous one i did before but before then i'm just removing the onion ring and i'm just going to put back all of them back again and i'll mix it together So as you can see, wow, <laughs> this one looks like patty, you see, you know, I just added the everything, like I added more one um, uh, scotch bonnet and I added more otazi leaves and believe me, this tastes so good, like really, really good. Guys. This is good, very good. So guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and tap on that red button that says subscribe and uh, tap on the notification bell as well. In that way you get instant notification whenever I upload a new video. So yeah, this is good, like very, very, very good, you know. Um, I think I wanted something more and considering the fact that I had uh, I bought two so I'm like why not use this opportunity to make uh, the two of them so guys this is the outcome like this is good very 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 good very good and it tasted so yummy oh I love this unkwabi with isewu <laughs> guys this is rich delicacy like this is authentic delicacy if you are a nigerian and you haven't tested this wow you are really missing yeah so thank you guys for watching and i will see you all in my next video bye bye guys bye